on the engine, check that, make sure that the carburetor looks fairly good condition. It's not rusted all over. That your generator wires are properly attached with a cutout. There's no leakage of evidence of rust running down on the from the head gasket, and that the terminals look fairly good with no rotted hoses. Okay, let's check the condition of the coils. For example, I've just replaced all these coils with brand new coils, but you'll check for rust on the top and also put the coils in a coil tester you should read 1.3 amps. Okay, we're going to see if we can get a hot start. Basically, when you turn the engine off, go ahead and put your um, Spark Advanced, fully advanced. Go ahead and turn the key on with the parking brake on. And then slowly bring the lever off. And you've got a hot start. Basically, the, as soon as the spark hits, the engine will start. This is the mark of a very good tuned engine. Okay, we're going to try a hot start again. The bat, the spark lever is fully advanced. The key is coming on. And then we'll just, without using the starter crank, we're going to bring the lever up. And it starts. A remarkably well tuned, well made, new manufactured engine. Evaluating a car, I start off with the front. Is the front suspension look straight? In other words, are the wheels towed in a few degrees? Uh, is the radiator leaking? This looks good. I'll later check the headlights. Check the condition of the tires. White wall tires are more expensive, but they tend to crack a bit more. As you can see, this, t this tire is new. It still has the nubs from the casting on it. There's no cracks in the sidewall. Check the overall condition. This one's just been washed, so it's got some water spots on it, some soap. It's been in storage. 
Check the wheel spokes. I do not like painted wheel spokes because it hides cracks. If you can get the natural wheel spokes, you can make sure that they're not cracked, rotted, or deteriorated. I like the demountable rims. Those are shown here because they're so easy to replace the tire and replace the spare tire. Do you have a spare tire and what condition is it in? Has it been licensed? Hey, see, this drives. Drives real nice. Shifts real nice. This putters along, we're going about 25 mile an hour. Just above idle. This has it been running? Has been inspected by the police. I got a brand new battery in here. Check the condition of the battery. Make sure it's 6 volt, not 12 volt. If it's 12 volt, that indicates usually a starting problem and your generator's not going to be charging the battery. Check the condition of the top. Tops are going to cost you to do it yourself between 500 up. Uh, if you're going to have it professionally done, it's around 1200. This is a new top. Check the fenders, rust. Stand on the running board, make sure the suspension is good and that the supports underneath it, crawl underneath the car, make sure the supports holding the running boards are not rusted. Uh, the interior, check the interior and the seats for rips, tears, general condition. Uh, seats will usually run me about $200, $250 to recover the bottom seat and about five to six hundred for the back back seat. So take that into consideration when you're buying a car. Just all in all. And then we're going to check to make sure that the car will start. And let's say no leaks under the differential, no leaks under the uh, radiator. Yeah, we'll try a hot start.